I remember when Ra told me he wanted to put an album out. You know, he had been doing so much work with Stone, putting tracks together, and I know he wanted to put a whole body of work together and just have one album. And, you know, when I asked him, well, what do you want to, what are you going to title the album? He said he wants to call it The Bridge. And I was just like, <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know, man. Like, I was like, okay, cool. Um, yeah, you know, like, I just kind of felt like I heard that title before. Pretty sure it's not. I just thought it needed something a little more unique, man. But that's just me, man. I'm always trying to do something different from everybody else, man. I don't like following the status quo, man. Like, that's just not my thing. And anything to like, kind of like trigger people's interest, you know, is always something that I'm like striving to do, man. So, you know, I told him to let me marinate on it, but you know, he told me basically everything about the album, man. And just like what it represents and it represented, you know, growing up, you know, where we grew up, you know, in Little Village, you know, and, you know, it's the same park that we all went to, we all grew up with, and anybody from the neighborhood knows it. And so if anybody heard any type of talk about that park, probably know exactly where we come from. And hopefully we're bringing a positive light to that and to that neighborhood. I suggested, man, I was just like, yo, man, why don't, you know, why don't you call it Petrowski Park, man? Like, <laughs> why not? I mean, I know Petrowski is not a word you hear all the time, but I don't know, man. It's just, it's a unique enough name, man. So I guess he kind of gelled on it too and compromised with me. So we called the album Petrowski Park, The Bridge. That album is like a cornerstone of everything we've built so far, you know, just working together and just being continuous with everything that we've made. Yeah, man. I mean, this album, you know, it, it, it was, uh, it was the first, you know, like it really started a lot for us. The memory of it, you know, being titled after a neighborhood park that we all grew up at, you know, it's just, you know, has more meaning as time goes on and it makes it that much more special too, man. Like, I mean, I got it. That's the cover right there, man. <laughs> I was like, well, let's take a picture of you at Petrowski Park. And man, it had been so long since I had been there that like, man, I didn't realize that like my plans of where to shoot, you know, were completely just like, like killed, man. Like, <laughs> hey, I, I wanted to shoot it by the basketball courts. And I remember, I remember every detail of that park and I remember every little thing was and I knew exactly where I wanted him to stand. I knew the angle I was going to get later to find out that the basketball courts were moved. Like they're not in the same place anymore. They're over on the other side of the park where the tennis courts used to be. Now the basketball courts are soccer fields. I was like, all right, well, shit, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's look around and see how we can do this. So I knew I wanted to have the sign in there. I wanted to have the sign that says Petrowski Park. And then I was just going to put the bridge in there. Found my angle, man. And, um, you know, like it's in front of what now is a skate park over there, which was something that we didn't have growing up, you know, so they made a skate park over there. It looks nice. That's pretty cool that they did all that. But for the purpose of this photo shoot and this album, it wasn't the ideal location. But yeah, just being able to have Ross seated at the park, having the sign there, you could see the basketball court there. You know, it just like, it just made sense, man. You know, like, you're gonna call it Petrowski Park. We gotta be at the park, then we gotta shoot that. Man, I remember when he, man, I remember when he came with the CDs, man. He came with a whole box of these and he was just giving these away to people, to our friends, family. You know, it was pretty cool, man. Like, I mean, I've done albums before for other people, man, but to do it for somebody that's your own people, you know, it was a, it was a cool memory, man. And, you know, I got only a couple copies, man. This one's not open, man. I don't plan on opening it. You know, I think I'm going to keep it as is, right? It's even got a, a fucking business card on the back. <laughs>